I've just been in my car driving and I came to a section of road where there were roadworks, so lights were in operation and they were on red as I approached. The car that got there first, after waiting a, a moment or two, decided there's nothing coming the other way, I'll just go. And the second car did that as well. I stopped at the red light, 20 seconds later, turned to green and I went. The people were thinking, there's nothing coming, I'll go. But then once you start to do that, what happens when you come to lights on a roundabout, which I've actually seen this, I think this is more common now, where people are coming to lights, there's nothing coming, so I'll just go. And then the next step is, there's a car coming, but I can beat it, so I'll go. And then the second one, the third one, just follows you. And eventually, when you follow this through to its logical conclusion, you have chaos. Have you ever been on a road where the lights have stopped working? Could be a roundabout, could be a busy junction. I have. And what you've got is gridlocked traffic because everyone is trying to get through as far as they're concerned and not really caring about anyone else. If you stop to let someone in, everyone will come. So people don't do that. That's why we have lights. That's why we have laws. We might not like them. We might not agree with them. We might think they're an inconvenience sometimes, but it's important to obey the laws. Now, yes, of course, there are laws that maybe sometimes, and I'm not speaking about driving ones now, but much wider, where you think that doesn't really work out or apply, but you still live by it anyway, and you still abide by it because it's the law. It's the right thing to do. Otherwise, you have chaos. But when I came to those lights and I saw what was happening, I actually thought about Psalm 19 and verse 7. And it tells us the law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The statutes of the Lord are trustworthy, making wise the simple. The law of man may or may not be to our taste sometimes, but we still obey it anyway because it is the right thing to do otherwise you do have a an anarchy creeping in into society but the law of the lord is perfect whatever he tells us in the bible we can obey that and know that it will not only make society a better place but also our lives as well that's important Man's law, live by it because it's the right thing to do. Otherwise you get anarchy in society. But how much more important is it to live by the teachings of the scripture? Because likewise, it keeps society ordered, but it also keeps our life itself on the right track.